Sorry, Rosemary, I forgot you wanted a video, so I'm trying to set it up where I can show it without using my arms. Okay. So, um, I went ahead and installed this shock. I got the old one off. <clears throat> Getting ready to tighten the bottom one. I already tightened the top one. And then I'll put the other one on just right now. the bolt for it. So what we did was we started off in the back and uh, before I start anything on the front I want to get in one part of the truck. And in order to get to this better take down your spare tire kind of in the way and then I found the tools in the jack compartment in the back there's that one and here's the green shock you can see that that's the name brand I'm going to turn the camera in the position. So I'm going to have to get a 15 millimeter wrench. Oh, they're right here. <laughs> nice. And then that 18 or 19 millimeter socket up right back. Thank you. 
see how I take it off. See how this sleeve goes over this sleeve? If it goes down, this goes over. That has to be facing to the top. So here's the new one. What we're gonna do is install it with the plastic tie-on because it's holding it squished together. Um, so that it's not so hard to squeeze together to get it into the spot. It releases very slowly, so it's not gonna just shoot out. So in that little time span, uh, we got to make sure we got the hole lined up for the bottom bolt. Oh wow, I think it's just the right length. Oh well, wow. yeah, just the right length. <laughs> the other side wasn't like that. <laughs> Yeah, nice and tight. Rear shafts are installed. Get your close drop me of it. That's the bolt we were tightening there. And here's the other one there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut that um, plastic tie off. So it can flex and do what it's supposed to. It's a fully installed shock. And we did the other side already. Like I was saying, I forgot that you wanted a video, so I went ahead and videoed the second one. And then we'll start videoing what we're going to do to the front. All right, that's it for this video, how to replace rear shocks on the 2003 Chevy Astro van on the rears. Not too bad. Now we just got to put the spare tire back up. Put the tools away and uh, close all the back end up. Alrighty, see everybody later.